Yes. The donut does create an inspiration in people because they are they're awoken, their senses are awoken to the power of nature when they come here. It makes me proud to see how people react that visit here. And there is a look in their eyes that they have when they see the artwork that is in this community. It's profound, it's amazing. There's a lot of artists here, and I like that, you know. I just think of all the times that I've enjoyed Sedona. It's a personal relationship and a personal journey to making a piece of jewelry and to hiking in nature. The art that we create, whether it's music or writing or painting or sculpting or dance, it goes out and it helps the world. And that's, that's what Sedona's about. And I feel it really strongly. I think I've made well over 300,000 stone beads in my life, and each one is a bit of an effort to make. And yet, I haven't made one yet that I think is, that I haven't made some mistakes along the way. Isn't that amazing? When I do a casting of tufa stone or when I'm soldering two gold things together, there's a chance because I have my own homemade solder that isn't very good and I have a really old torch that doesn't really put the heat where I want it and I'm having to heat up everything to accomplish this solder. I'm just sweating. It's like, wow, this is, I'm gonna ruin all my gold and be back to square one. And the fact that those tools aren't really the right tools causes all these opportunities, both in my mind, also in the piece, for new experiences to come. It's like trying to fly in a really bad plane and trying to get it off the ground and, and then land it again. That would be a very different experience than actually getting into a competent plane that has a good track record of getting from A to B. I always get in the plane that's never been flown before and really doesn't have the wings put together right. And then I come up with a piece of jewelry at the end. And so that to me is, I don't know, endearing or innocent as that is. It's the value of unpreparedness coming to light again and again in my life. I wasn't really ready for this interview. I wasn't ready to make that ring yesterday, but it's like I'm still doing it. The opportunity to make something comes from all of the previous failures. So you just get in there and you try. And if it doesn't work, don't get so hung up on that. Just go, the reason it didn't work is because I made this mistake. Go to the next one and do the next one. Don't, you're not gonna fix that first one. You just have to get a few under your belt and keep going. If I sit there and go, what am I gonna make? I won't even start. So I just start making something and I don't even know what it is. And usually it, it morphs into something else or it gets put aside as I get calm and in my groove. And then I'll pick up the next project and be able to work. And perhaps no good art really gets finished. It just gets abandoned. I liked that quote when I heard it last year. If you just have a, a couple of basic tools and a desire to make something, and a willingness to pay attention to what's working and not working with those tools and what you tried to do, the next step unfolds for you. And that can happen for a whole artistic career. It wasn't that I chose the turquoise. The turquoise came to me and I was interested, so I'm still doing that. It might be something different in the future, but right now it's turquoise jewelry for 25, 30 years now. 
just start it. If you want to be a potter or if you want to be a wood bowl turner, just turn a wooden bowl. And if you don't have the right tools, you could get a really, really tiny piece of wood and make a really, really tiny little bowl. And you could do that right now. And then you'll know what to do after that. But don't dream that you want to be a bowl maker and not make bowls. You just make them, make really bad bowls. Make 500 really bad ones, and then maybe you'll make a good one. But if you just want to make something and you think you need an education or the right training or the right environment, I think you're mistaken. And you'll never be able to fly on this journey of trying to land that plane that doesn't have very good wings.